So today we're going to be painting these three marines as Blood Ravens Space Marines using Citadel's contrast paints. Uh, we're going to use three different techniques, all of which produce fairly similar results. So you can decide which one you think best suits you, or you can pick and choose from whatever method you want, and you'll end up with a reasonable tabletop standard. Okay, let's get on with it then. I've got three marines, which means I can try three different things. First thing I'm going to try is using my one-to-one -one mix of Skeleton Horde and Contrast Medium all over this guy. That will hopefully give me a bit of a pre-shade and do the shoulder pads. This guy is just going to get it in the shoulder pads, so is this guy. Then he's going to get his all over, uh, well they're all going to get the all over Contrast Flesh Terrors. Probably thinned down a bit with the medium. This guy has been zenithaled a little bit more than the others, so I'm hoping that makes a difference. I don't know if that comes across in the camera as well. I think it does, but it's hard to tell on the little viewfinder screen. Then we're going to pick out all the black trimmings with the black Templars and the guns, and then do his face with one of the flesh paints, and we'll see what we end up with. All right, let's get started. I've decided I need names for these guys. These are going to be my test marines for pretty much everything. So if you have any ideas uh, that you want to call these guys, stick them down in the comments and we'll see if anybody comes up with any better ideas than me, which <laughs> wouldn't be hard. So we'll start off, this guy is going to get his all over base coat of bone. This is the skeleton horde. And I'll come back when he is finished. So here we have the first guy finished with his two to one mix of contrast medium two parts one part skeleton horde which gives you a reasonable nice bone color get back to work with doing oops painted the background doing the shoulder pauldrons of sergeant what's his name whenever we decide glob the if that'll focus it is pretty much just get a decent amount on your brush glob it on and then let it run and then just basically lift off the bits where you don't want it so if I'll focus that's sort of what you end up with that might be a bit much but I need to do the other shoulder guard anyway so that's the sergeant with his pauldrons done Again, you can just tap your brush to it to wick away any excess paint. Uh, it does tend to collect more in the lower areas. It does flow quite freely. Not quite as much as a wash, but yeah, not far off. So, next one is the Zenithal dude. And you can see from below he is fairly dark and from above much lighter so I'm hoping the zenith will come through with the contrast paints okay back in a minute all right that's this guy done just the shoulder pauldrons again so hopefully you can see that now the, the all over guy I really do need names for these guys so any suggestions seriously no, focus on the front guy. There we are. Well done, camera. So this guy is starting to dry now, and I really... I love bone effects. I don't know why. I think it's such a lovely color. But we need to let these guys dry, at least for now, on the bone. So he's going to dry all over. In the meantime, we should be able to get the other two painted up with their flesh tears red. So I want to mix that probably one part medium to two parts paint so I shall do that put it in a little pot and come back all right there's the mix I just need to actually mix it and um, it does look like somebody's shot somebody but give that a mix so we're gonna start this guy and blast him all over with this and I'll see how it goes focus anyway I'll come back when he's done. Well, 
that will teach me to press record. I have completed this guy. Focus. So yeah, completed him. I am now working on the sergeant. I thought I pressed record before, but obviously not. Focus. There we are. So working on the sergeant, and I'll get back to you when he's done. So a quick tip for you. If the wife and kids come home early from the swimming pool, um, and you've got your paint in a little disposable shot glass, just stick a bit of masking tape over the top to keep it nice and fresh. Anyway, on with the painting. We're going to, now that we've got our bone, paint him now with the flesh terrors red all over except the shoulder pads and we'll come back when it's done. So here we have our three intercessors all painted waiting on the paint to dry on him. Uh, one thing I will note is that if you're as clumsy and cack handed as I am you may want to leave the shoulder pads until the end because I have splodged paint on uh, I think all three of the models at one point so I will need to rebase each shoulder pad with uh, wraith bone and then reuse the skeleton horde to get the shoulder pad properly up to spec again um, but that was probably inevitable anyway so we'll wait for this to dry have a closer look tidy up the shoulder pads then do the details here's the lads ready to have the bone reapplied or the skeleton horn I should say to the shoulders so let's reapply it and see what happens alright everything's dry I am wondering to myself if I should base the eagles the aquilas on their chests if I should base those in white as well hmm I know I'll do a test of one of them I'll do a test of one and then we'll see how that goes. Okay, let's get that done and we'll come back in a second. Alright, there we go. The guy on the left, as you see, he has now his Aquila repainted with the Wraith Bone. So we'll see what difference that makes to the Black Templar. Honestly, I don't really care. Um, it's more just to see if it makes it more dramatic. Because it's fairly easy to highlight the Aquila with a tiny bit of very gentle dry brushing, so it's probably not a big deal. But Let's just run with this and see what we get. Okay, here we go. All three lads are now finished. Well, I say finished. You can probably do more details on them. There's, I tend not to paint too many details. But anyway, finished enough for this demonstration. Uh, and it only cost me most of a pot of Black Templar because I dropped it as I was shaking it. So that went well. Yeah. Let's just wait for the last of the contrast paint to dry and we will then take a closer look at each one of them in turn and see which one we like the best all right so this is the first one and it had nothing special done to it at all it was literally just the base coat of the flesh terrors red as you can see i haven't done this holster yet uh, i was going to use brown on those but i didn't bother for this demonstration Everything's done in contrast paints. The uh, Aquila was over the red on this one, as were the armor joints. I don't think it makes much of a difference, so you don't need to rebase those. There are obviously a few bits where I've missed with the red, like in the knee there, but I don't care about those. This not really what this is about. Um. So that's the first one, and I have to say that this is probably, if I bring the light around a little tiny bit, there we go, yeah, there. So this is probably my favourite one, but that could just be that it had the best application of the Flesh Tears Red. As you can tell, no expense, or no effort spent on this one, no uh, browns done for the pouches yet but relatively easy to do I suppose no eyes done or anything no this is just a rough and ready quick tabletop standard there's no attempt made to have this to be a 
top quality paint job but that I think works quite well again that's nice probably it's certainly completely acceptable I didn't do the purity seal there either the interesting thing this is the gun which was just the black templar paint although I'm still mourning the loss of most of a pot that I spilt um, the shoulder guards I think are okay in these as well uh, yep 